Now we can return back to the timeline, press spacebar and watch this magic. This is the original sign and here is the content aware fill version that we've managed to create using Photoshop generative fill. Amazing. Hello and welcome to Stern Effects. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use content aware fill using AI to create a clean plate and replace a sign with the help of Mocha AE. So we're going to achieve it using four steps. First, we're going to track this shot using the planner tracking built-in tool inside After Effects, which is Mocha AE. Then we're going to create a reference frame and we're going to use Photoshop beta generative fill to fill the sign behind and create a clean plate. Next, we are going to feed this clean plate to content aware fill here inside After Effects. And finally, we are going to replace the sign with an animated version. So let me show you. This animated version looks like this, and I'm going to break it down in a later stage. So stay tuned for that. But now let's begin with the tracking stage. So I'll select this clip and then go to the animation menu and choose track in Boris FX Mocha. This will apply the plugin and to get into it, we'll need to click on Mocha. Over here, I'll grab the rectangle X spline layer tool and I'll marquee around the area that I want to track. And then I'll make sure the tracking points are inside the surface that I want to analyze. So Mocha is a planner tracker and it's very important to define the correct plane to get a accurate result. If you want to check the results while you are tracking, you can show the planner surface and you can also place it in the desired location. And this is what we are going to take away from Mocha. So this is the data that we are going to use to replace the sign. So I'm just going to take my time and place it at the edge of this surface. And now I'm ready to track. I'll enable the perspective option and click on the analyze forward button. And that's it. The tracking stage is behind us. If we want to check how this looks, we can go to the layer properties and over here where it says insert clip, we can use one of the grids. So I'll choose the 16 by 16 and then I'm just going to play this and maybe also click to hide the surface just so I can take a look at the result. And I think it looks amazing. So I'll pause the playback and I'm also going to name layer one sign and save my progress and escape out of Mocha. Next, I'll open up the matte settings and I'll click create AE masks. And this is going to generate an animated mask which has the same name of our tracking layer inside Mocha. And you can see it follows the boundaries of the sign. Now, what we want to do here is change from add to subtract because we want to fill in the details here and overimpose the new sign using the tracking data that we've just collected. Now, there are a few steps we need to take to make it happen. First, we need to generate new pixels and to do this, I'll go to the window menu and I'll ask After Effects to show us the content aware fill panel. But the problem is that we don't have any data for After Effects to generate a fill. So before clicking on generate fill layer, I actually need to create a reference frame for it. And I'm going to use the new generative fill in Photoshop beta. So if you want to follow along with your files, make sure to download the beta version from the Creative Cloud app. So to do this, I'm going to switch off momentarily the mask here, and then I'll click on Create Reference Frame. And this, in my case, is going to open up Photoshop beta and show me this reference layer. I'll zoom in and I'm going to grab the lasso tool click and then hold down the Alt or Option and define the area that I want Photoshop to fill. So something along those lines and I'm going to close it. And once I have a selection, I can click on Generative Fill. I don't need to place anything here in the prompt. I'll ask Photoshop to generate a new sign texture for us. 
So these are the three initial results. This is the first one. This is the second one. And this is the third. I think this is our winner, but we can try again. So I'm just going to click generate and see if Photoshop can come up with something better. So again, I've got three options to choose from. So the first, the second, and the third. So I think I'm going to stick with this one. And if I don't need any of the other files, I can just delete them. And this is my recommended workflow because otherwise the file on disk can be very big. So I don't need this version and I don't think that I'm going to use this one. All right, I'm going to just press Command S here on the Mac, Control S on the Windows side to update this frame and then I'll switch back to After Effects. And we can see that After Effects now sees the Photoshop reference frame. Now to make it work, I need to return to the sign mask and change it back to subtract. So other than the first frame, all the other frames are going to be empty. And then in the content aware fill, I'll change the fill method from object to surface. And this is going to generate the best results because we just want to replace the surface texture. So this is the desired mode for it. And then I'll click on generate fill layer and let After Effects do its magic. So you'll need to be patient. You need to wait for the two stages. The first one is the analyzing part. And then you'll see a second progress bar, which is going to render the result. Now we can return back to the timeline, press space bar and watch this magic. This is the original sign. And here is the content aware fill version that we've managed to create using Photoshop generative fill. Amazing. And now we can composite the new sign on top of it. And of course, apply the tracking data to it. So over here, I have this composition that I've created ahead of time. I'll double click just to show you its ingredients. So I'm using this free clip from Adobe Stock and I've applied the mini max effect to it. And the reason is that I want to thicken the lines here. So I set the operation to minimum and change the radius to one. And this is what this layer does. And underneath I'm exposing the sign, which is a real sign from our kitchen. So just to show you what happens over here, I'll select the matte layer, which is just an animated mask that I'm using to expose the sign underneath. And of course the layer itself here has three keyframes for the scale. So it would look like it is popping underneath. And I have a white solid, which serves as a background because I want to multiply those pixels above the sign that I want to replace. So let's return to the main composition. I also want to emphasize that the comp here is the same dimensions as the original comp, as well as the same frame rate. And this is very important if you want to apply the mocha tracking to it. So I'm going to temporarily switch off the visibility for the sign. I'll go to the beginning and I'm actually going to open up the tracking data here and click on create track data. I only have one layer, so I'll select it and click OK. And now we can see that we have keyframes for the mocha effect. Now, what I would like to do is apply those keyframes, the tracking data, to the sign layer. So I'll set the export option from corner pin to corner pin with support to motion blur. I'll make sure that the layer export to is set to the sign. And then I can turn on the visibility switch for the sign. And finally click on apply export. If I'll press spacebar, we can see how it is looking so far, which is not so bad, but it's not believable. So I'll select the sign layer. First, I'll switch the blending mode to multiply. And this is going to say goodbye to all the white pixels. And now I can stylize it. So I'll add the turbulence displace effect. I'll change the size to three. And this will help to displace the pixels and make them look a bit more connected to what we are seeing here. I'm also going to select the layer, press T to see the opacity and maybe lower it to 85. And then I'll add a levels effect and I'll go to the green channel and play with the green output black. 
just to match the colors to what I'm seeing in the scene underneath. So 20 in this case, I think will work. And I think that this is it. So let's go to the beginning and maximize the composition panel and press spacebar to preview the result. So my guess is that soon enough, we'll be able to do this number inside After Effects without Photoshop's help. But until then, the future is already here and you can use the generative AI to create a clean plate in a fraction of the time that it used to take before. Let me know what you think about this AI madness in the comments below.